hello, I didn't see you there. Hello and welcome to Cooking Tips with no, Jonathan no, no, and George. No, 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 we're not doing, doing the uh, game show thing. Oh, yeah. that's right. Well, Hi, I'm Jonathan Mangum from Let's Make a Deal. And I'm George Gray from uh, uh, The Price is Right, yeah, I think is the, right, the, the right. one that, yeah, that's it. Uh, we're taking your questions live about the show. Anything you want to know about the show, Price is Right or Let's Make a Deal. So just make sure to put a hashtag, Big Money Week, uh, when tweeting. And uh, uh, a few of, of the lucky tweeters, what are they going to get? Well, <laughs> let me tell you, Jonathan, they'll get these. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Isn't that nice? Isn't that, yeah. I actually, I rubbed this against Wayne Brady uh, four days ago. So this is this T-shirt has been touched. Aqua Velva, yeah. that is nice. It is his choice of smell. <laughs> so, uh, so I want you to have these. Uh, make sure, again, it's uh, hashtag Big Money Week yeah. when you're tweeting, okay? We got first question, you want to take it away? Uh, sure. Right, uh, okay. Oh, look, there it is. Uh, what car hasn't been offered on the show you would like to see? Thank you, Derek B., for that question. We don't know who it's for, so uh, what would you say? Um, you know, we saw it. We, ha we actually had a BMW, which was really cool because it was great to have a BMW on our show, but I think I'd like to see a Porsche someday. I like Porsches, they're Ooh. fancy. See, I'm a big gearhead, and I would love to see like old stuff, like, oh, like yeah. all the, the quirky stuff. Um, I would love to see uh, what I've owned a couple of, which is an Amphi car. Ooh. They made them in the '60s, and you—it's it, a little car, and it's got propellers in the back, and you can actually drive it into a lake. <laughs> really? On purpose. <laughs> wow. So I would like to see an Amphi car. That would be my question. Wow. I'll, 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 I'll change my answer to that. That'd be fun. It would be great for real. let's make a deal, having a fun car like yeah, that. Yeah, go in the water. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jules S. asks, so what is your most memorable moment from Price and Deal? Ooh, let's see. Uh, my most memorable moment from Price. Well, the one that just pops into my head right now, uh, this actually, it hasn't aired yet. Um, is uh, sometimes I get to be on stage and like show the prizes, you know, one of the models. I know they're really scraping the barrel then, but, uh, <laughs> but I, uh, this was last week and I was in front of some televisions and the woman, she won everything. She wanted right. like designer stuff, I think refrigerator, TVs. So they always come running over and hug you on the way to commercial and everything. And I got to see her at about 12 feet off. There's that tiny little bit of carpet that they set there. Yeah. She clipped that thing like it was a street curb, and I, she, she got about four feet of lift off the ground. I saw her hands like this, and her, her big eyes. We got all the cameras. She flew in, hit me right here. You see my shoes go up in the air. I go flying back, almost took out the televisions. Uh, one of the models is giving me uh, like, like CPR, and, uh, and I said, I want to see that as an outtake, and they said, no, we're actually leaving it in the show. <laughs> So that's my favorite. That's awesome. What would you say? Uh, you know, one of my favorites was, uh, I think it was last season, we did do a thing called the Super Deal uh, occasionally, mm -hmm. where if you win the big deal, you have a chance to uh, give that up to go for the Super Deal, which is $50,000 in cash. And wow. if you pick the right color, um, there's three colors, red, green, and blue. If you pick the right color, you get you get the big deal you already won plus 50 grand. And uh, there was this person that gave up the big deal, and, and you could tell that they they really needed the money, just the way they were talking. It was like, oh, this this person, and they just want something big, but man, they wanted to go for it, and they got it, and then this this big sh shaft opens in the ceiling, and we have all this money that just rained down on him, and he, he the, the look in his face was like, you know, we changed the guy's life wow. forever, because he because he probably got to keep, I think it was a car or something, so a car and $50,000, and you could tell that's what he needed to turn his life around, and it was just that moment of like, oh, wow, this really... Made a huge that difference. That feels nice, doesn't it? Feels it feels great. It really well, does. you know, because, I mean, we're here for Big Money Week, and today, just today yeah. on, on Price, yeah. we actually saw uh, a woman win $100,000. She actually, on the show, she just walked away with like $144,000. If you got to watch it, uh, go back and take a look at it. It's wow. mind blowing. Talk about like a good day. Yeah. And I can't tell you how many times I've heard people say at the end when we're waving, they say, you know what? Uh, I, my my family didn't want to come here. They were saying they wanted to go to this and that. And I said, no, we're going to Price Right. I've always wanted to go. I got the tickets. And they're sitting there, and they've just won 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 oh, thousand dollars. And, and and 140 something. That's that is a yeah. good day. They have a bigger budget than we do. <laughs> it's big money week. We, we got money flowing. That's right. Oh, we got another uh, question. Let's oh, see. Uh, when is Let's Make a Deal going to be in HD? Well. Uh, I have a birthmark across the left side of my face that's not available in standard definition, but once you go to HD, it's just this giant like, chasm of, uh, 
of uh, cliffs and scraggly. So never. No, I have no idea when we're going to go to HD headset. It's Harry Potter esque, if you know that <laughs> lightning bolt thing. It's yeah. sort of one of those. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think we should. Hopefully, I mean, um, I would like to go soon. So CBS, where we are, give us the nice cameras, I guess. I don't. It's all technical. I don't know stuff about that. All right, we got another one. Uh, Tom M. Ask me. Thank you, Tom. Uh, George, what retired Price is Right game do you wish to see unretired? <sighs> I don't know. What's been retired? Do you, uh, gosh, I don't even... Trivia! <laughs> I actually don't even. I'm trying to think of what uh, what a retired game that we've that we've seen. Yeah, I know what was uh, that we hadn't seen for a while was uh, Check Game, mm -hmm. and then they brought back Check Game, which oh, I wow. thought was I thought that was super cool. So uh, I like a lot of the old timey stuff. I'm a big I'm a big um, a history fan. I mean, I obviously like the old cars. I have an eight track and stuff. I dig all that stuff. I, I, I like the old timey stuff. So for me, getting to see like the clock game, I love to. I love uh, you know uh, hole in one. Any of the games that that I grew up with, I love getting to see those. Oh wow, that's cool. And you got a question right there. Oh, uh, what, which zonk is your favorite zonk of? And then in caps, all time. All time. <laughs> uh, thank you, Zach. Uh, you know we did one in in season one way back where um, the Zonk was uh, a Jonathan rock band. And I actually had a guitar and sang some horrible song and it was distorted and sounded bad. Probably scared away viewers, uh, but it was my favorite Zonk because I was being stupid. Which by the way, uh, totally unsolicited, but I finally got to see this fine gentleman and Wayne Brady together, <laughs> uh, which you guys go on the road doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's amazing. <laughs> Saw it last week. It's really incredible. Oh, if you ever you. see it in your city, go, go, go. It's it. You will laugh thank your you. tail off. All right, we got another question. Uh, let's see. Jessica H says, "Do you ever come up with any of the game ideas?" Um, rarely, but a couple times. I, I've said to the producers, uh, "There's one game that we played called the uh, the long or, or the, the winding road. I forget the name of it." Uh, but we actually, it's the one where you start at the top of the game and it says you can go left or go right and make your way down to the boxes or the, uh, or the curtains and follow this path through the audience. And uh, um, I remember uh, pitching a, an, an idea kind of like that to them, that then they took it and made it uh, much better. But uh, I remember, if, if I have an idea or if Wayne has an idea, we certainly they are open to anything. That, uh, they then stole think. it, took my <laughs> idea, and made it better. Yeah, but that, was, that was very nice of you to say that. Well, that's true. I did come up with a few ideas for uh, Price is Right, and legal department has asked me to, uh, mm. I think, cease and desist was the words well, they used. Well, nudity yeah. in daytime is, is not really... You know, I mean, it's just, we... We have male models taking their shirts off for everything now. I, I've actually <laughs> was making a joke today. It's like, all right, it's a bicycle with shirtless Rob. It's uh, like, I mean, you know, I, I get it with the, the yeah. hot tub. You want to show up in a flying car with your eight tracks in the nude, and it's not going to happen, it's not, George. It's not wrong. It's not going to happen. It's not wrong at all. What do we got here? Uh, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. Uh, who is your game show idol? Um, game show idol. Wow. Um, that's a good question, George. <laughs> I guess we have to think about <laughs> and it. And he lobs the pitch. Uh, you know what? I, I, could, I could take that. Um, I would say, and it, it, this is going to strike you as a little bit odd, um, but because I, I grew up, we all did, watching um, you know, Wink Martindale mm -hmm. and, uh, and Chuck and, and Bob Eubanks, is uh, none other than Greg Kinnear. Oh, uh, yeah. He actually hosted a few game shows when he was doing Talk Soup, and he sort of... Didn't really get any credit, but he changed the way game show hosts were. Mm -hmm. They, you know, just kind of uh, just relaxed and uh, laid back. And so, actually, he's one of the people that I think sort of changed to the modern style, which I like a lot. Yeah, uh, I can't believe I'm spacing on the name. Family Feud was hosted for years. Richard. Richard. Richard Dawson. Yeah, yeah, he's he's one of my favorite. He had that same kind of just. I'm relaxed, and I'm just gonna woohoo, and maybe have a he seemed of very relaxed. Yeah, but I love incredibly that. relaxed. I, I think that uh, that there should be game shows where the host is forced to drink. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> not, not on CBS or in, in daytime. <laughs> right now, but so you, you can't know. see this when you're watching this, but there's people next to the camera going. <laughs> don't, don't, don't say that. Uh, not on CBS or during no, the daytime, no, but on no. all the other networks. That's true. Uh, let's see. What, what, do we, uh, what do we got here? Uh, uh, Stefan? Is it Stefan? We, we're not sure. Uh, George, what pricing game do you think is the most difficult to win and why? Ooh, that's, I, I would say that's fairly easy, is that's too much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's too much is really tough because Drew always says, they always say one more. They, uh, you always want to go for one more, and it's designed to just tease you into that. Yeah. 
very, very difficult. You just never know when to stop. But the payoff is a car. So it's it's really a, a, a diabolically simple game. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. What would you say is, uh, do you have something that you say on uh, Let's Make a Deal that's particularly tough? Um, you know, it, the, the, there's a mathematician out there that could look and know the odds of all the games we play, and I am not that guy. So to me, it's just... You know, to me, it's just woo, go for it. I love it when people go for the try to win, but I, the odds and what's hard and what's not, <laughs> is gonna be the wrong guy. Boy, he should run for office. I he should. actually, that was a minute <laughs> answer and he didn't say anything. Nothing. That was incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you want to take this next one? Yeah. Uh, Rachel A asks, uh, what's it like getting hugged by complete strangers after they win? Awkward. Um, so yeah. It, it is awkward. I mean, really? you're, you're happy for them, uh, but sometimes they get a little too excited. I've seen people almost squeeze Wayne to death, and he gets way more of the squeezins than I do. And I've seen his face turn purple. <laughs> people are getting. We are the less excited. squeezed We're, out of both shows, squeezed. would you say? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've seen Wayne almost pass out from lack of oxygen. So yeah, that can be awkward. I, you know, for me, I actually, uh, I always tell everybody when they're in the audience, we're the Price is Right family. And, you know, it, you cheer for your family. Yeah. It's, it, it's really neat. And so when I get to, like, see somebody, it, it's like I feel like I already know them. So, yeah. it, so I love the fact when somebody comes up and hugs everybody because, yeah, you don't do that. You know, you don't go to the office and print some copies and go up and hug everybody. <laughs> you know, hey, good job with the copies. That's an excellent job. Put it right here, baby. <laughs> so it's, it's nice. It makes you feel warm and yeah. fuzzy. Yeah. Uh, Mike H says, uh, "What's the coolest prize you're giving away during Big Money Week?" I would almost think that Mike H works for the publicity department of CBS. It sounds like that, doesn't it? <laughs> Mike H. <laughs> what would you say? I would say that uh, during Big Money Week, we have a great new game uh, where a contestant can win thirty thousand uh, wow. dollars from uh, in, in one go. They have a chance to do that. I can't give away what happens. But you should tune in and watch because it's fantastic. Yeah, and I, I don't want to give away anything, but I know that during this week, uh, Plinko for ridiculous money, cliffhangers for ridiculous money. Um, you can guarantee that every day is a car that's going to blow your mind. I mean, really cool stuff. Yeah. It's really neat to see a Ferrari on Price is Right. You guys get Ferraris? I'm, I don't know. I'm just hypothetically saying. I want a Ferrari on Let's Make a Deal <laughs> or a Porsche. Well, see, you, I'd settle for an Audi. But you and Wayne get paid so much money, they can't afford those prizes. <laughs> That's what, okay, right then. I forgot about that. Uh, let's see, what do you got? Now, take it away. Uh, Eddie asks, uh, is a, a MLB, I, I suppose that means baseball? M it does. Monster Legion baseball playoffs time. Who are you both rooting for in the sports ball? Uh, you don't have a team, do you? I like uh, dragons. <laughs> I like science fiction. I enjoy reading. I play World of Warcraft. Uh, once again, you're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> Nerd. Uh, really? You don't have a... T where were you born? I don't even know. Uh, I was born in a field. Really? Where they played baseball. No, a I field was, of gold? <laughs> I was born in, uh, in the South, actually, but uh, never into sports. Uh, probably had something to do with uh, being bullied. Uh, really? At, at my, oh, I was so horrible at sports. Really? R right field all the time. And you have no drawl on you at all. Oh, uh, the drawl is, is, comes out when I... Uh, We'll have a few. <laughs> really? Nice. Uh, I actually am from St. Louis, oh. and uh, the, the, the the Bears. The, the St. Louis Bears <laughs> baseball team. Yeah. So close. Oh. So oh. close. Uh, you know, because we're in Los Angeles, and uh, we work with a great crew, and we're all family and friends, and they're all draped in Dodgers gear. Because right now, uh, the St. Louis Cardinals are playing uh, the Los Angeles Dodgers, and my team happens to be up two games to nothing in the National League uh, Championship Series. And uh, it's very lonely out there because I'm wearing my Cardinals gear and I'm getting a lot of death looks uh, walking <laughs> in so I'm a big Cardinals fan. Awesome. Uh, Joanna C says do you play pranks on set? Do you do, play pranks? Do I, you? All the time. You do? do you oh yeah. You? The other, just the other day Wayne came off set and he took his shoes off. I don't know why but he took his shoes off and so I was like opportunity. So I grabbed some of those uh, little pieces of gum the, ecl the Eclipse you know hard and I threw a couple pieces in both of his shoes and then, of course, you're like, okay, we're ready to go, go, go. And Wayne put his shoes back on and started walking out. And he's like, with these, oh, and he's looking at me the whole, just <laughs> because he has these clumps of gum in his tight-fitting dress shoes trying to do a deal. So that was just last week. Yeah, I, I love, he does pranks to me too, though. So how about you? Has he ever really gotten you good? Uh, yeah, you know, sometimes I'll be reading some copy. Um, you know, when someone wins a prize, if I'm standing next to him, 
he'll show the prize, but what I'm actually doing is reading the prize copy off a cue card, and as I'm reading it, he'll put his finger in my ear, or he'll punch me in the thigh, or just stand awkwardly close to me, or he'll, he'll try to mess me up. And uh, he succeeds many times. We don't, we don't really do that kind you of stuff on price. Uh, well, Drew loves to be tickled. Does he really? Yes. So, so okay, okay. Just right in the ribs. There it is, folks. Last week on the job. So, uh, <laughs> so enjoy Big Money Week. Well, you can. <coughs> uh, Excuse me. Peter N says, "Do you have any favorite contestants? Do you have what? Well, you, that one sticks out in your that mind. That one sticks out. Another one that I love was, uh, you know, like I said, I'm not into the sports, but I love science fiction. So whenever anyone dresses up, like Doctor Who, or we had a woman in a TARDIS one time that was awesome, or someone dressed in a TARDIS. What is that? It's uh, uh, Doctor Who's uh, time traveling vehicle. Yeah, he's from Gallifrey. It's a planet far away. They have 12 for generations. <laughs> what anyway, a nerd. So, so the TARDIS is awesome. From Gallifrey? Gallifrey is a planet that Time Lords are from. <laughs> yes. Sports. <laughs> um, or Minecraft. People dress up in Minecraft sometimes. That's really cool. So I love anything like that. I did not know this about you. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. So, like, have you ever been to, like, a Star Trek convention? You must go to Comic-Con. Oh, I've been, yeah, I've been to Comic-Con. I've been to science fiction conventions. Really? Yeah. In fact, when my kids started playing sports, because I have two, two young boys, they started playing sports, and I was sh sure to be, stand there uh, at the uh, field when they were playing and tell them how horrible they were. To, to guarantee that they would be into science fiction like me and not into sports. <laughs> you're terrible! And then now they love Doctor Who. So, you're welcome, world. Nice. All right, what do we got next here? Let's see. Uh, uh, Cole T. asks, uh, what do you enjoy doing when you're not working? Camera's on now, so. Okay. Wanna... Oh, oh. oh. So. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll start. <laughs> uh, what I like to do is, is I'm a big gearhead. Like, you're yeah. into science fiction and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, Gear meaning cars? or Galaxitron what it, or whatever it is. It's uh, Gallifrey. Yeah, yeah, that one. Um, is, uh, uh, yeah, like, uh, I like building cars and bikes and restoring stuff. And, oh, cool. And uh, so that, the way I relax is, uh, is I'll go and just turn some wrenches, you know, and... Uh, yeah, like the front of my place is, I am like so rednecky. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. I'm, I'm like the only guy in, in the Hollywood Hills with like Daisy Dukes on, you know, <laughs> with a 40 screaming at an old car that's rusted. They love me up there. <laughs> uh, hey, Thomas P. asks, what's your favorite game on your shows? What do you like? Um, there's a lot of great games. I like Gold Rush. I just, it's just silly and fun, and I get to say Gold Rush in a, in a crazy voice. How do you say it on the show? Uh, I have a little cold now, so I like, Gold Rush! <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, so that's really fun. That's my favorite, I think. My favorite is actually, and it, it, it's not that Drew created the game, <coughs> but he actually did create the game, is uh, Rat Race. Oh, what do you mean he created the game, he didn't create the game? Well, no, I mean, that's not why I like it. Oh. You know, I'm not sucking up to him, although I am sucking up to you, sir. Uh, I, I just, I mean, it involves mechanisms. So oh, wow. I think that's, I, I like anything like that. I mean, if, if it had like a little running engine on it, I, I would want to play that You know, that you game. like mechanisms and wrenches and stuff. You are this close to being science fiction because if you I just am. turned it, yeah. Then you need spaceships yeah. and you know time machines and explosions. Yeah, if I just didn't like girls, it would be right there. It'd be like it <laughs> wait, is wait, this. Wait. What are you implying? This close to I, living in my mom's basement. Uh, my my people like girls. <laughs> we just we just can't talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> it is this dangerously close. So close. Uh, Mike Richards asks, if you are such a gearhead, why can't you get my Trans oh, Am to work? Mike Richards. Well, that's just it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike is the executive producer of The Price is Right and Let's Make and a Deal. And Let's Make a Deal. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, he needs a carburetor, uh, for those of you who are not, and that's where the, uh, the fuel gets into the carburetor from the tank. It mixes it together, comes out like a hairspray. Stop it, I'm making it easy. It comes out like a hairspray concoction, like when you, you, know, you spray pump spray bottle and you see the mist of hairspray. Gasoline comes out like that, gets sucked down into the cylinders, and goes boom. And his 79 T-Top Trans Am, smoking the bandit one, uh, needs a new carburetor. And he won't get one. I'm happy to put it on for you. It's four bolts, 20 minutes. We'll uh, have a have a fresco while we do it. It'll be fun. See, I did a show called Junkyard Wars. You drink ago. fresca? I do drink fresca. Right. Yes, and Sanka at night. <laughs> uh, but uh, I did a show called Junkyard Wars oh, that's right. years yeah, ago. Yeah. So I I love all that kind of techie stuff. Is that stuff. where you started getting so into that? That's nerdy in a or, way. Did you did you get into it from that show, or did you already like it before? No, I show? actually I liked it before, and I did that show thinking that it was just going to be fun. Like I did it for myself, that right. no one was ever going to see it or anything. Mm -hmm. And the show blew up and became. Oh wow! And now you're stuck with me. <laughs> so that's the way it works. Uh, 
Uh, Catherine D, uh, are either of you working on any side projects? Uh, yeah, actually, um, uh, I was lucky enough to be a part of the new Whose Line Is It Anyway on the CW. So uh, that's coming back for a second season, and hopefully I'll be doing a bunch of those. Uh, and I tour quite a, quite a bit with Wayne uh, around the country and does the, comedy do, clubs. Does Wayne and your show have a name, or is uh, it? It's uh, sometimes it's making it up. Sometimes it's Wayne Brady and friends. It just it changes. Oh, that's kind of hurt that it's that there's only two people on stage and it's Wayne Brady and friends <laughs> and friend. <laughs> Wayne Brady and associate. <laughs> Wayne Brady and the other guy we won't name because it would take too long. So we're not going to put it on the marquee right yeah. now. Uh, but he does give me credit in the show. He, he, he does. You guys are great together. Yeah, I mean, but you, you could. That, that's what's really nice, and I hear that a lot uh, about uh, Drew and I. And and you know, it's one of the biggest compliments is you can tell that Wayne and you are friends. Yes. You can tell that you actually really like each other's company, and and as mm. soon as it stops, you're not going and walking away. That because on daytime TV, it really is a family. You tune yeah. in on a regular basis, and you like seeing that everybody gets along and jokes around and laughs and, and has a good time. Absolutely. How about you, side projects? Uh, I just got back last night um, from uh, from Branson and was doing, what, four days of Price is Right Live. Oh, wow. Where I actually, I sort of felt like I was cheating on my old lady because I was doing Drew's. You're doing Drew's? I, I was, oh, my gosh. I was doing the, uh, yeah, I had an announcer and everything. That's so great. Super fun, and I do stand-up as well. And so, uh, yeah, I, I love getting out. It's really cool to get out on the road and get to say hi yeah. to everybody. It's Absolutely. Neat. It's fun. Uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Diana B., what's your favorite game show of all time? Um... You know, mine just, and it's not not that it's the best game show of all time, but it, the age I was when I saw it that made me love it so much is the one. Was it was it Card Sharks where the robot dragon comes out if you pick the wrong one? What was that game? Tic Tac Doe. Because oh, I know yeah. it's not the best show ever, but when I was a kid and, I, and that little robotic dragon, like if you pick the wrong thing, man, I I loved that so much. And for me, it's let's make a deal. Oh, really? Well, it just seemed like the right thing to say. It'd be awkward. Should I have said that me. because that's the show I'm on? No, I mentioned yours. I mean, you could have mentioned mine, but you instead picked some obscure what, what, thing. What show are you on again? You know, it really doesn't matter. I is mean, it Techie, Techie Wars? Is that what I feel like we're having a fight here. Yep. Um, now, this is great. <laughs> this is, who's ever, you got it here. We got it. Can I move this? I want to be able to move this. You got to, you got to see. Here's what somebody, they actually made the font too big. So you can see that? So, um, yeah. so you guys might want to reduce the font of that. I can't see it. Uh, uh, I don't have my glass. It just says coming up soon. Any, any hints, hints on what we'll see, see this, this year. year? Thank you for that. They uh, they can't read it. In. Oh, no. there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, oh, there it is. Halloween is coming up soon. Any hints on what we'll see this year? And the, but who is this from? There's no name. We don't so know. This is from the and void. Whoever it is, they're very angry and they write in very big letters. <laughs> um, do you do you have a Halloween special? I always thought it'd be fun to have a Halloween special and let's make a deal where instead of dressing up, people just dressed normally for once. <gasps> But we didn't do that. Um, or if you two dressed up. Oh, yeah. If everybody else is totally, like, just plain Jane, like they work in an, oh, sorry, banging that, like they work in an office, just yeah. like, you know, white shirts, boring brown, you know, and then you guys go something crazy. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Do it. Uh, we do have a, a special Halloween episode, uh, so tune in for that. Uh, we actually have a spectacular uh, Halloween Ours show. Ours is spectacular and super. <laughs> it is. It's better in every way. <laughs> it is better in every way. Uh, we have a great one. This what what year. happens? Super, super fun. Uh, this one is. Uh, let's see. What, what is the what is the Halloween theme? This one. I think it's just it's spooky. I get to be a, a floating head. And oh wow! Yes, and uh, so the best part of it uh, is anybody that was lucky enough to be in the studio audience got to see me in what could only be described as a very revealing skin tight green suit uh, going up to here because I, my oh. body needed to disappear and so it is was just painted on me That's which awesome. is really was a delight for That's the ladies. Awesome. <laughs> was a true treat. Sure. I walked out during rehearsal I'm like I apologize I'm sorry I should have worked out more uh, but it's great so I get to so uh, so I just practiced doing this a lot because all you would see is my head and they were laughing at me <laughs> doing it. but it's gonna be really fun. Uh, That's awesome. Episode. Uh, Tommy B wants to know, do I have any tips on how to say come on down? Uh, how would you say come on down if you were going to do hey, it? Come on down. Wow, that is good. Thanks. That is really good. Um, well, the, you know what? I think I sort of, I didn't think about it when I first did it because the way it was is um, when they were trying to figure out who the next announcer was going to be, 
they had, uh, I think, six of us mm -hmm. get 20 shows each. And so um, I didn't think I stood a chance. And I, so I was just going to go have fun because I, um, I was coming after uh, Jeff Davis. Uh, you may know who Jeff yeah, did. Very funny He's guy. Very, very funny Who's Line guy, uh, alumni. And uh, and just they were all so talented. And I just, I'm just i just going to go have fun. And I think the way that I did it was kind of hang on a little bit. So come on down. Like a little bit of that. You know, so kind, of, so kind of dig deep. Because I'm not, I've never been an announcer. Have you ever I've been never, an announcer? never yeah, been an announcer. You're looking at, you know, two of the most iconic announcer jobs. And we have never done Nothing. it before. And but it's a blast. Yeah, oh my, yeah. my favorite to shout out uh, besides coming down is a new car. Uh, a new oh, car! Because yeah. if I do it right, the person pees a little. Who, really? Are you the person? <laughs> <laughs> that seems. Because I just peed a little like, when he said it. Like this. I just peed a little. Like this. Uh, Elizabeth A., uh, this is for you. Oh, no. Oh, oh, showdown, I saw. Who would win in a host showdown, Drew or Wayne? Oh, you answer that one there, Tiger. You take I'll that. answer at the same time. You take that. Ready? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Drew. Wayne. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's nicely Perfect. done. All right, moving on <laughs> to a less volatile question. Yes. Uh, hey, oh. Oh, yeah, I guess we got to wrap it up now. Oh, great. Oh. So we have to read read this copy. Oh, well, it, it, well, it says, thanks for all your questions. Big Money Week continues all week long. But the truth is, it was a blast getting to hang out here. Absolutely. I'm really yeah. glad we got to do this. And uh, and there's really some crazy stuff to get to see all week for Big Money Week. Oh, yeah, right? it's going to be fantastic. If you like money and you like it big, <laughs> CBS is the place. You don't, don't you dare end on that. <laughs> don't, you, don't you dare like end on that, Jonathan. Like that. I'm just reading what they One wrote. time I say I'll work with you, and look what happens here. <laughs> no, it was really an absolute treat getting to see you guys, and uh, this is one of the funniest, most talented men on television, yeah, and, just, and he's really, really super nice, so uh, treat getting to be here. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.